We have been learning what? Redemption realities, all right? And we began by defining redemption as what? If you can remember. Buying back. It's the act of buying back, reclaiming, act of saving or being saved from sin or error or evil. You remember that? Yeah. All right. And then we realized that we cannot understand or comprehend what redemption is all about if we do not uh, allow the Spirit of God to uh, help us comprehend what redemption is. Oh, yeah. And it took us to a journey of understanding the Pauline prayers. And we began looking at the Pauline prayers, Ephesians 1.17, Colossians 1.9, uh-huh. Ephesians 3.14, which else? Yeah. Philemon 1.6 1, 6 and Philippians 1.9. 1, 9. Don't forget that. It is Ephesians 1.17. Ephesians 3.14, Colossians 1.9, Philippians 1.9, Philemon 1.6. 1, 6. Praise be to God. And we discovered that in the train of the Pauline prayers, Paul keeps on talking about knowledge. You remember that? He says that you may receive the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge. Philemon 1.6, that the communication of thy faith may become effectual by the acknowledging. Acknowledging again, that's knowledge. Every good thing that is in you, in Christ Jesus. All right? Then we saw something else. We saw uh, last Sunday, we began also on the three kinds of knowledge. We discovered that when you receive Jesus, you receive knowledge that is revelation. All right? But God wants you to grow from a revy to what? To knowing what you receive from Christ and then to interact with what you receive from Christ. Praise be to God. Amen. Is that making sense? Yeah. Alright, do you have your Bible? Yes. Lift up your Bible. Yes. Say, this is my Bible. Is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I, says I, am. I will go where it says I will go. I I my mind is made up. My, made up. my heart is made up. I will never be the same again. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. And God's good people say the better amen. amen. Before you even begin preaching, man, be proud of carrying your Bible. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Me, I carry my Bible. I have a Bible in the car. I have a Bible in my bathroom. Yeah. I have a Bible in my phone. I have a Bible in the sitting. I have a Bible besides my bed so that I am closer to reading the Word of God. Oh, yeah. All right? Yeah. Don't let your phone take the place of your Bible. Yeah. Praise be to God. Yeah. So go with me to Second. Peter, the second epistle of Pope Peter, chapter number one, and we are going to read it together, one to go. It says, Simon Peter, Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Jesus Christ, to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God and of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Now pause there, we shall jump to verse number eight, then come back to verse number two. What does verse number eight say? For if this thing be in you, uh -huh. about, mm -hmm. make it that he shall neither, neither be barren nor unfruitful in, in the, the knowledge, knowledge of, of our Lord. Jesus Christ. All right, so if, the Bible says, if these things be in you, in increasing measure, in abounding measure, in surpassing me, uh, measure, you shall not be barren, you shall not be unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. So if I was reading the Bible and I discover that there is a way I can come out of barrenness, all right? Yeah. What would I do? I will try and find out the other verses that have been uh, listed before verse number eight so that I can know how to come out of barrenness. Oh, yes. Praise be to God. Amen. So he says, if these things be in you in increasing measure, they will make you that you shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the epignosis of Christ. The word knowledge there is where we get the full knowledge, the exact knowledge. Praise be to God. Amen. All right? Now, let's go back to verse number two. We have seen Simon Peter, a servant of Jesus Christ, to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God and of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Then verse number two, grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of our... All right, so we noticed that grace can be multiplied. Praise be to God. Amen. Peace can be multiplied. Yeah. But now, he tells you how peace is multiplied. He tells you how grace is multiplied. How? But through the knowledge 
of God and of our Lord Jesus Christ. So you want an increase in grace? What do you do? No Christ. You want an increase in peace? No Christ. The reason why some of us as believers, we are worried every time is because we don't know Christ. We don't pursue Christ. Actually, I can stand and attest and say that most of the body of Christ run towards the tradition of men. They don't run after Christ. They run towards the tradition of men. Matter of fact, have you noticed that people fear men than they fear God? Can I hear an amen? Most people, they fear men than they fear God. All right? For example, a cheating husband who is not in attendance today in church, he fears being caught by the wife than by being caught by God. Are you seeing? So we fear men than we fear God. And let me tell you, I have noticed in this journey that when you fear men than God, you become an abomination towards yourself. Praise be to God. He says that when I pursue the knowledge of God and Jesus Christ, grace and peace is multiplied in my life. If I want a multiplication of grace, I seek after Christ. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness and all these other things that the Gentiles are looking for shall be added unto you. And I say again, and you can go and do your own research, much of the body of Christ is what we call the Gentile church. They are seeking after material stuff. They are seeking after cars. They are seeking after houses. Nothing wrong with a house. Nothing wrong with a car. But like I've been saying, you cannot use the Bible to get cars. If you use the Bible to get cars, what happens to the guys in Dubai? Can I hear an amen? The Bible has been given to us for a particular thing. I remember of John 1.45. Nathaniel comes into the picture and says, We have found whom? We have found whom of him of whom the prophets, Moses and the prophets, the law, have spoken Jesus Christ. Are you seeing? But most of the people come to church to find an eat. Not a whom. A wife. A car. A husband. Next level. You will be one of the most frustrated believers in the world. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Graduate to a place where even if I don't get blessed physically by giving my offerings. I am giving it for the kingdom. Don't tie it with a Mercedes Benz. What if the Mercedes doesn't come? What if you, you drive a Vitz and it's not, there's nothing wrong with a Vitz, but what if the Mercedes will never come? So go your labor your Toyota work your Mercedes. Praise be to God. <laughs> Can I hear an amen? Get to a place that your relationship with Jesus is not defined by materials. For where your heart is, where your heart is, that's where your treasure is. Praise be to God. Then he says, according as his divine power has given unto us. He is not planning to give you. He has already given you. He is not thinking of giving you. He says, according to as his divine power. In other words, we have a partnership divinely. Can I hear an amen? He says, according as his divine power has given unto us. All things that pertain to life, this life that you're living, and the godly lifestyle. So I don't want to pray for you to get a house and you'll be giving the devil a competition, you know? Praise be to God. You know, sometimes, like I've said before, some of us, okay, some of us somewhere, we are not able to sing vizuri because we don't have money. Let's talk. Let's talk. It's because some of us don't have money. Were you given money, even the devil will come and write down notes. Notes on cheating. Yeah, I know what I'm telling you. Somebody said, if you want to know the state of the heart of a man, give them money. Praise be to God. But I pray that even when money comes, Christ will still be enthroned there. In the name of Jesus Christ. He says, according as his divine power has given unto us, all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge. Now, the word knowledge there is what? Full, exact, precise, accurate knowledge. So when I have accurate knowledge, then I can be able to access 
by his divine power, all things that he has given me. Can I hear an amen? amen? Then he says what? Who has called us to glory. Let me just stay there on glory. Your life is glorious. Amen. Oh, your amen is suspicious. Amen. Your life is glorious. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Your life is glorious. You see, we need to get out of this mindset, Mr. Francis and all of us, where we think my life is glorious because I'm wearing designer shirt. Tuonge sasa. Can we talk? You're seated next to your neighbor. Yes. Do you care which label they wear? No. Ata kani ya gikomba? No. Do you, ata ujui? Yes. Ata boro mevanguo? Yes. That's why Apostle Paul alisema, having clothes and raiment, we are content. Yes. Praise be to God. Yes. If you wear Giorgio Armani or Gekonyo, it's still <laughs> the point is you are dressed. Yes. I'm charming. Can I hear an amen? Yeah. Praise be to God. Yeah. You are not defined by the money you have in your account. Yeah. You are not defined by what you drive. Yeah. See, that is the irony of life. I tell you, when you get a Mercedes Benz, you'll want a Range Rover. When you get a Range Rover, you'll want a Bentley. When you get a Bentley, you'll want what? A jet. When you want a jet, you'll want what? A rocket. Can I hear an amen? Let me help you. Let me help you. Let me help you. Never forget this. There is a God-shaped hole in your heart that nothing will ever fill except God. Can I hear an amen? Money will never satisfy you. No matter how much you have. So you listen, Solomon. Solomon, the wisest and the richest man in the Old Testament. At, at the end of his life, he says what? Your teni vanity. Everything is vanity. Vanity upon Vanity. Praise be to God. And then he says what? He has called us to glory and virtue. So, pastor, what is a glorious life? Eternal life. Money cannot buy eternal life. Let me pause there and explain to you eternal life. Eternal life means, actually, the Greek word is zoe. Zoe is the very life of God. The thing that makes God God. Now, that zoe, you have it. The Bible says, he that has the son has life. All right? So imagine growing to an element where you understand that the very life of God is in me. How can you have cancer? Praise be to God. So I have a glorious life. You have a glorious life. You have a glorious life. Then he says, that has called us to glory and virtue. Mrs. Francis, the word virtue there is where we get the word excellence. That's why I told you, the Bible is not an English book. If you read it from an English point of view, you miss some things. Usha crack joke na mother tongue. Afu jaribu kui explain. Ainaga punch. It's the same way with the Bible. You must look at what was uh, the translator tried to put there because they, they bring the closest word. So if you look at the, uh, the, the lexicon concordance, that word... Virtue there is excellence. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these, which promises? They are in verse number three and verse number two. Am I making sense? To post kwanza hapo, ni wafunze kusoma biblia. Neza wafunze kusoma biblia kidogo tu. Now, when you read your Bible, your Bible does, your Bible has chapter and verses. But originally, the Bible does not have chapters and verses. So when you read chapters and verses, there is a tendency to figure out your thought in Asia for chapter one. Chapter two, ni thought line in Guinea. Assume when Peter is talking, he's doing what? An atupe story. Niki kutumi SMS. Huh? Si weka gina paragraph. Sindio. So, niki kuwekea na paragraph, utafikiria iyo thought ilishia hapo, hii ni thought ingine, hii ni thought ingine. Sindio? Now, simple rule of reading the Bible. Forget the chapter and forget the verse. You will be able to get the thought line of who was writing. Can I hear an amen? Can I hear better amen? amen? So, he says what? Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises. What are the precious promises? Grace and peace being multiplied. What else? Divine power for life and godliness. Are you seeing there? 
are being called for glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by this we might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. And besides this, giving all diligence, add to your faith, and to virtue, and to knowledge, and to temperance, and to patience, and to godliness, and to brotherly kindness, and, uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. For if these things be in you and abound, they make you that you shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, look at verse number nine. But he that lacketh these things is and cannot see far. Mm -hmm. And I have forgotten he was purged from his old sins. Wherefore, the, the rather brethren, give diligence to making your call and election sure. For if you do these things, if you do these things, the enemy is not being mentioned here. The Bible says that if you do these things that the apostle Peter has listed, you will not fall. Me, I would want to know, hey, what are these things that I will not fall? Praise be to God. So he says in verse number five, let's begin from verse number five. He says what? And besides this, giving all diligence, add to your faith, add to your faith, add to your faith virtue. What did I say virtue is? Excellent. So let's go to Romans 12. We build our case from there. Verse number three. For I say, uh -huh, not to think of himself more highly, uh, but to think soberly, according as God has dared to every man, the measure. The Bible is not saying that you don't think of yourself. It is saying don't think of yourself more highly than you ought to. Praise be to God. And then he says that you should think soberly, for each one of us has been done what? God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. Now, if you are a very good uh, uh, English student... When you see the word T-H-E, T, -E, T what does it mean? It's a definite article. All right? So there is no other thing but that. Sinukweli. So he says, God is saying that I've given each and every one of you not a measure, not some. He says what? The measure of faith. Now, are you seeing why Apostle Peter is saying that we have been called to like precious faith? Have you seen that in First Peter where we read? 2 Peter 1, 1, Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Jesus Christ to them who have been called with like precious faith. So the faith that was in Peter is in you. The faith that was in Apostle Paul is in you. Praise be to God. So let me ask you, because you're a Bible uh, a student church, what is faith there? For a thousand shillings. <laughs> eh? What is faith? Don't overthink it. Remember the gospel is very simple. What is faith? When you want to define uh, certain biblical words, you define them by scriptures. All right? It's okay. And they where are you? Let him enjoy. All right? Faith. What is faith? Okay. Twende kwa hiyo na define. It's Hebrews 11.11. 11. 11.1. 11, Sindio? All right, let's read it. Please, you're going to learn something powerful. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence. All right, okay. Uh -huh. Let's continue. For by it, the elders. So the people that are going to be listed after this verse are what? Okay, all right. We understand that the words were framed by the word of God. So who is the word of God? Christ. Christ. So that things which are seen were not made of things which, are, which do appear. All right? By faith. Uh -huh. All right. Look at verse number five to one. By faith, another person. By faith. Eh, no. All right. By faith. Okay. Verse number seven. By faith, Noah. By faith, by faith, he sojourned in the land of promise. Now he's listing all that, yeah? All right, let's go to the second last verse. Mumesema, now faith is there? 
of things hoped for, the evidence, and then akalist nini, all the elders. Sasa notice kitu. 20 verse number 39. And these all, Abraham, Moses, Samson, Noah, all of them, all right? All these, having obtained a good report through faith, received not. Uh -huh. Now look at verse number 40. God having provided some better thing for us, that they without us. Now, the faith of the Old Testament is not the faith in the New Testament. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Faith, unona ya Old Testament, they, they, they had faith, but they did not obtain the promise. Can I hear an amen? Why was Abraham accounted, made righteous? He believed God. He was accounted to him for righteousness. So, ukiangalia tentatively, salvation in Old Testament was just believing God. Salvation in New Testament is believing Christ. So faith in the old and faith in the new is not the same. Praise be to God. He says, all those guys, even if they did whatever they did, cannot be perfected without us. Glory to God. Then now he comes to chapter number 12, verse number 2. No, verse number 1. Let's go there. Sinime wambia, akuna chapter na verses so his story in Endelea, Sidio. Wherefore, since we are also encompassed with so great a cloud of witnesses, who are the witnesses? Amen. Noah, Abraham, Awote. He says, let us, let us lay aside every way, and the sin which does so easily beset us. And let us run the race. Now look at verse number two. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. Eh? Yes, commander. <laughs> now, if you do your own study, your word in a sema, looking unto Jesus, it means this way. Look away from Abraham. Look away from Moses. Look away from Samson. This is the perfect person. Yes. And that from a child, thou hast known the holy scriptures which are able to make you wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. So, nikikuja niseme, God, bless me with a car. God will bless me with a car. Not because I have faith, but because of the son's faith. God and Saizi, you are perfected by his faith. Christ's faith. Can I hear an amen? When I receive salvation, Ajay. Yes, Velma. Exact. Kwanza tu elewa na ivi. God, I'm going to explain here. Tu elewa na ivi. Ile faith ni mmejua, ni ile faith ya Samson. Na ya nani mwingine? Na ya David. Na ya Abraham. Okay? Do you know those guys never exercised faith in the context of faith? They knew. You know faith is trusting God. That God had to come through. But your faith yao ilikuwa faulty. Koze ishi kwa Yesu. Yesu ndiyo the perfect faith. So mesoma hapo, he's the author and the finisher. So we uko hapo katikati. That's why Anasema is the Alpha and the Omega. So outside Jesus, you can't please God. That's why Anasema in Hebrews 11.6, For without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he that comes to God must believe that he is God, and then he's a rewarder of them that seeks. Are you seeing that? Praise be to God. So wakati unasema unagari, don't say you are lacking faith. Am I making sense? Am I making sense? Are you born again? How do you know you're born again? By faith. By trusting that this man died. He was buried and he rose. That is faith. Praise be to God. So how do I activate faith? Father, I pray you provide A, B, C, D. Because of your son's sake. Now it will come. In Jesus' name.
it will come. But we practice faith na level ya Abraham. Ndiyo unuona inakuwa noma. Yes, he come. Yes, he come. Uko kwa Old Testament na una practice Old Testament in New Testament. Na yes, he come. Eh, Deuteronomy 28, the blessings of Deuteronomy 28. Are you an Israelite? You are a Kenya na kikuyu kwanza, wakiambu. Can I help you with the blessings? The Bible says in Christ, it is yes. So he tells you, looking unto Jesus, turn your eyes from Abraham. That is why me, I will not, I will not want to be David. Me, I enjoy Me, and the manifestation of the sons of God. These are not the days of Elijah. <laughs> oh, glory to God. These are not the days of Elijah. These are the days of the manifestation of the sons of God. But you want to call fire like Elijah. Have I made sense? Is he making sense? All right. Let me help you here. Mm -hmm. So, he's telling you, add to your faith. Add to you believing in God, in Christ. All right? Add to your faith, virtue. Is he making sense? Now, let me just tell you something here. The word add here, let's go back to 2 Peter. And besides this, giving all diligence, add to your faith. Now, the word add, I will not give you in the Greek because I don't want to mess your head. But let me give you an explanation. It means lavishly supply. Don't supply. Lavishly supply. Can I hear an amen? He says what? Lavishly supply on top of your faith. So, nikumanisha, kama nina jenga spiritual uh, building. Foundation yangu ni? Faith, which is in Christ Jesus. It may make sense. Then, iyo nyumba isibaki kwa faith. Lavishly supply virtue. And to virtue, knowledge. And to knowledge, All right. So you keep on building. The problem with us believers, we are stuck in the faith place. Can I hear an amen? We are stuck where? In the faith place. Unamini, yesu alikufa, that's it. So unangoja tarumbeta ilie. Na itakaka, kwa sababu sisi wengine tunaomba isilie, ndio tufanya kazi sana. Praise be to God. Unajua the most surprising thing is people pray for long life yet ule msai mwenye anaunda coffin anaomba wasewa daddy. Oh, the irony of life. Business, yeah? Can I hear an amen? Now listen to this I wrote. It's, it's, it's one of the things that blessed me so, so much. I'm going to read it for you. Faith in God is trusting in him based on a true understanding of who he is. Praise be to God. As revealed in the Bible, faith in God involves an intellectual assent to the facts concerning God and a life-changing reliance on those facts. Faith in God has several components. The first is believing that he actually exists. However, simply believing that God exists is not enough. As James 2.19 explains, demons believe in God. They believe he exists. After acknowledging that God exists, the second element of faith in God is commitment. Faith does not result in action is a dead faith, not true faith. Praise be to God. For example, Mr. Francis, the Bible tells me to walk in love. When I don't walk in love, I am not practicing faith. Praise be to God. You see how we can shortchange ourselves? You can be very good in this area, but you're lacking in this area. God wants you to be full, round about. You remember maturing of the saints? That is what you need as a believer. All right? Is it making sense? Now, however, even a faith in God that motivates us to action is not enough. For faith in God to be genuine, we must accept him as he has revealed himself in scriptures. We are not allowed to accept the attributes of God that we prefer and reject the ones we don't. If we do not accept God as he is, then we are putting our faith in false God of our own making. That is what we call religion. Can I hear an Amen. Do you know common faith? Let's just begin by common faith. You knew in your Noah that pastor cannot place a seat there that is not well able to, take, to handle your weight. Cindy, did you check? Did you speak in tongues? As you are sitting. 
you knew pastor cannot place a seat there that cannot handle my weight. For some of you that are yet to get your cars, in Jesus' name, you did not ask the Concordi and the driver, give me your driving license. I want to know whether you can take me to Kikuyu. You didn't do that. And some of you came with drivers who are drunk. Huh? They are, body, they, are up, they are absent from the body, <laughs> but not, they are not present to the Lord. But they are not there. But you knew this guy will get me there. That is why faith to work well, you must have a child mentality. When you keep on arguing, you can, it can't come. Alafu waso ingi hapa, tunakuwa tunakataa makona hivi. Eh, if God came through Mpesa, he doesn't have to come again through Mpesa. Don't box God. I have said faith is trusting God. Can I hear an amen? Faith is what? If I placed a seat uanguke, ungesema aje, I don't trust that pastor again. Sini kweli? Am I speaking the truth? The reason why Velma, we don't see our faith working is because we confess on Sunday we are charged after this service to Kokama Betria China 120%. Ukifika Monday, uko negative one. Oh, sasa hii mungu hii mambo, hii wakovu imekua mzito. You were confessing a few hours ago. The greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Now here, yo, are you getting my point? And Paul says, if you confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart, you will become saved. Salvation is you. So how can you also, and that's why you should listen to that teaching on, on, your, on, on, on the power of the words. You can negate your words the following day. Don't do that. Can I hear an amen? Glenn, let me tell you. The Bible is very clear. There is no temptation that has come upon every man that is not common to man. Let me help you. God, I'm a way. Uneza handle your kitu. Nirudie tena. Kama mwinjilisti. Bwana ashapima. Unasikia wa injilisti yaba. God has already weighed. Can I hear an amen? So when you say, ah, God, thank you for that. When you say you cannot handle certain things in your life, you're actually saying the master did not make you as a masterpiece. You're saying, it's like saying that you're, you're, you're not the quality God needed you to be. You're substandard quality. He has weighed you can handle it. Have you realized, ukipitia vitu mingi sana, mungu watuagi yokitu? All right. Kue kueni mkio wa kristo sana, mtaniambia. God never removes your story. Wacha ni kuambia ken. Ukienda ofungio nyumba, kufulitatu, Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. I tell you, even if you pray, as much as you can pray, God is in all your kufuli. God does not remove the obstacles. God strengthens you for the obstacle. Uh, uh. Can I hear an amen? So wakati mnapitia issue, ndiyo nilikuwa naambia some guys yesterday, our failure is we look at the now. The now, hapa. And we exaggerate. Do you know we exaggerate? Tuonge, tuonge. We exaggerate a lot. I can show you in the Old Testament. Esau and who? And Jacob, alisema aje, ni pea supu wa mani dedi. Oja maku wa mekula asubui. Sini ukweli. Ebu notice wakati unapitia staff, aki nyumba inakuja kufungo. Landlord aja kupigia simu. Wendi umesema, kwa nini ya sikuje, sume muita. Ume muarakisha. Is it making sense? Unachujo job unasema maisha yangu imeisha. As if maisha yako ni kazi how we exaggerate. I am finished. They have, they, they have killed me. Huh? You're watching too much Nigerian movies. Can I hear an amen? I tell you, it's not as bad as it looks. Oh, oh, let me help you. It's not as bad as it looks. I tell you the truth. I tell you the truth. It's not as bad as it looks. Can I hear an amen? Oh, mungu linisahau. Mimi nelekea 50 years. Eh? Wase wenye wana nikatiaga tu hapa. Eh, ni wase wa bogi genje. <laughs> umeongea, umesema, umesema. You're exaggerating. 
Because there are ladies who get married at 70. Oh, pastor, and a biological clock. God is the clock. God is the clock. Praise be to God. If you look at life this way, it will be very easy. It will be very easy. Watch ni kuambie, Velma. If you ever pray to God to give you something and it didn't come, number one, God is still God. <laughs> number two, I'm still born again. Number three, he knows why he didn't give it to me. I won't bother myself. And I hear an amen. But any religion not based on the Bible is a designer religion with a designer God. For faith in God to be genuine, it must be based on a genuine God. Praise be to God. All right? It must be based on a genuine God. For example, the, the God of the Bible is triune. So true, uh, true faith in God must accept the deity and personality of the Son, the Holy Spirit, as well as the Father. Now, let me shock you. Are you ready to learn? Yes. Write this down. The gospel does not demand faith. It supplies faith. Let me repeat it again. The gospel does not demand faith. The gospel supplies faith. Let me shock you. I'm waiting for you to write. The gospel does not demand faith. The gospel supplies faith. Can I hear an amen? amen? Let me show you as an example. When you come to God as a, as a sinner, you're not, you've never been born again, all right? When, you, when, you, when, when a minister of the gospel preaches to you about Christ and what he has done in you, for you rather, as I am preaching the gospel, I am also by the spirit supplying the faith to you. That is why and you feel something has changed. Tuonge? Lakini ya ujakuwa mrefu. Mashida bado ziko. Loans bado ziko. But in your heart, something has happened. Because when you preach the gospel, the gospel has in itself the ability to supply faith. So, tukiubiri yesu. Sema tukiubiri yesu. We will not need to, to exercise faith on healing people. The power will be present to heal. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Can I hear an amen? amen? My work is to preach Christ. His work is to heal the people. Yes. Deliver the people. Yes. Praise be to God. Come on, Bibliya may say, he that the son sets free is free indeed. Then why are you looking for deliverance? Believers, write this down and post it on Facebook and tag me. Believers who are looking for deliverance have an English problem. Believers who are looking for deliverance have an English problem. You have been delivered from the power of darkness and translated to the kingdom of his dear son. Akuna deliverance ingine. Ureda ki. Eh? Mr. Francis, see, that makes sense. Sindio? Imagine. Listen, the moment you received Christ, look at me. Because God has been given to us. receive Christ. Very many things happened, including the devil knowing you received salvation. Anajua. Bwana asifiwe sana. Anafanya nini? Lakini anaplegi na ignorance yako. Kwa sababu wewe haujui. How do you deliver and see why it shall take place? I am coming together with my wife. We are coming from a background. We are coming from a background where there was this preaching that we got on a DVD. Hey, Mungu enyanafanya deliverance. It was overcoming the voice of your history. Man, who your preacher? Eh? Alitupeleka Old Testament akatuonesha kila kitu wenyeo nasema ni ukweli. Alafu to top it up, akona ma prophecy, word of wisdom, word of knowledge. Akatuambia, kama for example, you see Abraham, the wife was barren. Isaac, the wife was barren. Uyo mwingine ni nani? Jakufu, the wife was barren. Anasema, that is the voice that is speaking in that family. 
na si ni ukweli by the way nikienda hiyo route mtanibaiya v8 <laughs> sio <laughs> alikuwa anasema hivyo manzi mimi na my wife tulizikula aje eh tukaziban tukape <laughs> ma family members eh hey, tunajiona kuwa na stress enda usikize hiyo do you know what it did ken it brought fear when you don't listen to the messages on christ the first thing itakuja ni fear panya ikipita tu hivi i cast down huyo sijui anaitaga nani unampatia jina ni panya party kuwa panya lazima utembee kwa mabati paka ya black zote zezi kuwa white lazima kukuwe na paka ya black si ndio kweli si uchawi oh ati sijui kiona ka all kamesimama hapo kuna msiata daddy that is superstition that is a creature from god praise be to god amugu motri and stuff you're getting eh we got into so much fear it was so bad that i remember when my wife was giving birth to our firstborn is of it was like so much we could not speak faith we lost our baby we lost our son that time so tukaanza kuulizana na my wife yani kitu ni mngengano ai uokoke upigane kuokoka upigane kufanya harusi upigane kuoa upigane ku kupata watoto upigane waende school fees Up, yani ni vita ni siku gani utatulia kidogo tu tulie seme pause 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 wacha kwanza nitulie kidogo and most believers wako hivyo ni vita kila siku me i decided i began asking god if this is salvation then i don't want it kwa sababu kuna wenye waja wakoka na wanakaa hapo wapiganagi eh, when is scatter by fire scatter by fire scatter by fire scatter by fire man leo kifagio kesho nyasi alafu upitie mahali ukute tu nyasi watoto walikuwa wanacheza watoto wakaeka tu tunyasi hapo unahama huko siingi ninahama <laughs> eh wamefunga destiny eh my star has been stolen <laughs> and then you you ask yourself you intelligent you at your star has been stolen and a man like you is the one that can restore really really hata nyinyi mjiulizaye maswali zingine wewe huyo huyo mwanaume anatoka binguni huyo hata wewe unaweza is because of your ignorance na Paul anasema ninaomba sana na nina na, ni, niko na wasiwasi that nikienda kuna watu watakuja wawadanganye wa, wa, wa kama vile Eve alidanganywa na Satan mutoke from the simplicity of Christ hii injili ni simple simple Janet you tell me God anezaje kuwa unfair ati lazima uombe upate healing ati oh god father oh father oh father my father my father oh, you want to help Jesus akisema my father my father eh mr francis mtoto wako ukikwambia my father my father usitaremo usi mtoto wangu huyu huyu wa mtu mwingine si ndio that's how we look to god tunakaga hivyo kwa god my father he's like i gave it to you mimi sina kitu kingine wakati god alikupea yesu alikupea kila kitu a ah? kila kitu so an expect wewe u work out kenya nilikupea that's why he says na naifanye kwa simple ken work out yo with tunafikaga hapo hapo ndio tunafikaga hiyo verse inaendelea nasema for it is god who is at work in you both to will and to do so what is salvation ye yeah, ye yeah. He is the one doing the work. Wait, ni waulize. Hey, leo nasikia vizuri. Hallelujah. Mafuta inatoka kwa jeans. Ni waulize. Did you do anything to be born a sinner? No. Ulikuta jamaa alikula matunda, <laughs> si ndio? Si ndio kweli? You didn't do anything to become a sinner. Si And you don't need to do anything to become righteous just to receive Christ. Yaani kusema Yesu nimekureceive evil. Imagine. Oh, but pastor, you don't realize I struggle with pornography. It's because you don't know you're the righteousness of God. 
There is nothing that will ever take pornography. Hata ukienda rehab, bado utaingia hapo. Siri ni hiyo, Yesu. The day we discovered me it's like I walked out of the the dungeon. Nika realize yani kitu na kuoga simple hivi. Simple hivi. That is why me, me the TV station I don't watch. Ken, but I want a TV. Where can Netflix want a movie? Jackie It's better. I tell you the truth. These Kenyan TV stations, most of them are not preaching Christ. And the most interesting thing, what Christ on the one as finance. Twenty, twenty. Hey, niliona kama mungine hapo mwanzee sana itisha mbaka 30 bob. 30 bob. 30 bob. May God help us in Jesus' name. Ati Trinity. Listen. Am I making sense? Listen. A person can exercise faith, trust and commit to God, while at the same time being unsure about the thing or the person. Like now if I ask you, how many of you are sure you're going to heaven? See now, see now, see now, see now. Kuna wengine hata ni kustretch. Si kuino mkono nile. Let me ask you Beatrice. How sure are you you're going to heaven? Ume? Because? Yes, it's that simple. You're going to heaven because your sins were paid. Oh, but pastor, sin ilikuwa dunda jana. Ukiwa dunda nilisema la Sunday, ushawa yona nguruwe msafi. Usha yona paka mchafu. When a believer is not doing the right thing, they are acting out of character. That's not your character. Can I hear an amen? The more I see Christ, me, by the way, I got delivered a hundred percent the day I understood everything is Christ. So how many of you are going to heaven? How many of you are delivered? So ni siwaone kwa 310. You're delivered? Yes. Praise be to God. Bapasi, oh, ni kilala hivi, ni nasikiaga sijui, nyoni nyoni ziki imba hivi. Watch a nyoni zimbe. <laughs> eh? Na muache paka zilie. Mawafa nasema muache paka zilie. <laughs> it's, it's annoying. I know it's annoying. Praise be to God. So, he says that we have received the measure of faith. You remember that scripture? We have received what? The measure of faith. And then, in Romans 10, 16, nasema, who has believed our report. Can we go to Romans 10? Watch and you want to share something. All right. But the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise. Say not in thine heart, we shall ascend into heaven, that is to bring Christ down from above. Or who shall descend into the deep, that is to bring Christ up again from the dead. But what saith it? The word is near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith. which we preach. Now, wait. Ukiona semicolon. Inamanisha nini? Iyo sentence ina connect na iye nye nakuja. Alright, let's continue. That if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. For with the heart. Aha. Uh -huh. And with for the scripture says, whoever believes on him shall not be mm -hmm. the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that are called upon his name. All right. Verse 13. For call upon the name of the Lord. Uh -huh. How then? So this call is a call to preach the gospel. So how? Shall they call on Jesus in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear? And how shall they preach? That's why I was sent. As it is written, how? All right, verse 16. But they have not all obeyed. 
Uh -huh. For a sign. Says Lord. Who has. So then. Faith comes. And. And. So how do you build faith? That's how you build faith. So he says, and besides this, giving all diligence, lavishly supply unto your faith excellence. Now let's talk about excellence and then we are done. So your faith, and after you have faith, you add what? Excellence. Now listen, let me define for you excellence. Excellence means possessing outstanding quality or superior merit. Remarkable good. It means extraordinary superior. So, after your faith, lavishly supply excellence. Listen to me, single man. Get some grooming. And the guy said, Amen. Buona sifuwe sana. Sinikweli. Get some grooming, man. Get some nice clothes. Hata zenyo konazo zipige pasi. Wacha kuzieka chini ya kitanda. Be excellent. Zioshe. Take a shower, man. Am I helping somebody here? Take a shower. Atizirudie. Wewe. Can I hear an amen? He's saying, now that you have faith in Christ, add to that faith excellence. Can I hear an amen? Can I hear an amen? Be excellent in what you do. Let me read a scripture for you to show you what I mean. Mark 7, 37. Talking about Jesus. And were beyond measure astonished, saying, He has done all things well. Another version says, He has done all things excellently. Can I hear an amen? Let me explain to you what excellence is. Excellence means doing something the first time the right way. There is no excellence with you going to work late. That is mediocrity. If you're writing, write this down. To yesterday's excellence is today's mediocrity. Mm -hmm. There is no excellence in a woman that does not know how to cook. And the man said, Amen. Amen. Oh. Can I hear an amen? amen? Praise be to God. Amen. Praise be to God. There is no excellence in a man beating their wives. Amen. There is no excellence. Amen. If you want to beat, your, beat somebody, come, I will take you to the game park. Get the biggest buffalo. You go fight the buffalo. Or look for a man your size. Kujanda kupe ken. Ama Mr. Francis. Eh, Mr. Francis, ebu amka ufanya hivi. Smama, smama. Yes. Can I hear an amen? Can I hear an amen? Married man, there is no excellence in your wife going to the children's school for the meetings you have never attended. Attend your son's, your daughter's meeting. The son and the daughter was, did not come by osmosis. Praise be to God. Can I hear an amen? Be excellent in how you talk to people. Some of us, God answered the prayer. Excellence took it away. Lack of excellence took it away. Can I hear an amen? Be excellent in what you do. Kama una, unapika mandazi, let them be the best in Kikuyu and beyond. Let us be lining to get your mandazis. Praise be to God. Am I making sense? Be excellent. Hakuna kitu mbaya kama mkristo tunaombea. Na kesho wendi, kan, wendi nini job? Ati, ati kwa nini wendi job? Ah. Uh, Yesu alisema yote amepeana. Alilipa madeni. Ati nilikuwa morning devotion. You are getting late because you are in morning devotion. Unafikiria tutawina aje hawa sewa dunia? 
if you're mediocre in your station. That's why promotion ikuji. What wana kupita tu? And the Bible is very clear. It says the sons of this world are wiser than the sons of the kingdom. Can I hear an amen? Oh, pastor, si ezi enda marikiti kununua mandizi ni unze. Ah, I am a new creation. You will be a broke new creation. Very broke. Can I hear an amen? We live in a society where mediocr- mediocrity is the norm. Many people do as little as they can to get by. I came to remind you the importance of having a spirit of excellence. Can I hear an amen? As you examine your life, make an effort to do your part. God will do his part. Can I hear an amen? You are ready to get married, sister. You are ready to get married. How many books have you read on marriage? Unashindaka kwa papa shirandula. Na ni usi zama socialite. How do you think you will ever become a wife? Go read. Hallelujah. Go read, oh. And choir, oh. Can I hear an amen? Single man. Kazi yako ni kuhang tu na maboys huko, maboys. Maboys hata kupeleka mahali. Come and see Mr. Francis. Tell him, ukitaa kuenda rurashio, mtu ufanya aje. Hey, me, he's on my points, brother. Yeah. We must kick mediocrity out of our lives. Can I hear an amen? amen? Let me ask you, if I come to your house right now, yes. huh? yes. is everything in order? Yes. Or everything is everywhere except the ceiling? Funza watoto wako kutandika vitanda. That's a sign of excellence. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. Do you know also, how do you tell you're excellent? Get to a place, thank you comes automatically. Learn to say thank you. Ata kwa makanga. Be different, man. Be different. What I notice um saying different. Do you know you can tell somebody thank you? Now make one a very bad day. Na hiyo tundo in memsort. Can I hear an amen? Ukitembea na matatu. Oi, please. Now over. Damo da ida. Mukitembea na matatu. Learn to tip. Learn to tip. Learn to tip. Wacha kungengana na 20 bob. As in umepeana mia. Le, 20 bob yangu. Hey, we makanga maze. Nashuka hapo mbele. Nataa 20 bob. 20 bob. Yeah. Na 10 bob. Ati pasta ujui mafuta ilipanda. Learn to tip. You know what you're telling yourself? I may be here physically. But my mind is there. Say I will walk with excellence. Look at Daniel chapter 5 verse 12. Daniel 5, verse number 12. What does he say? For as much as an excellent spirit and knowledge and understanding and interpretation of dreams, showing of hard sentences and dissolving of doubts were found in the same Daniel, whom the king named Belteshazzar. Now let Daniel be called and he'll show the interpretation. This man was so excellent. That even when he received a prophecy for somebody, he knew he was wise enough. Can I hear an amen? Chapter 6, verse 3, Daniel. Then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents. To some pamoja. This Daniel was above the and why? And the Manzi, learn to be excellent. Do you know excellent? Enough excellence will find your value in a panda ju. Ni waulize. Muna pia kelele ju ya safari kom. Mbona mtogagi safari kom? Unaskia, tuende wapi. And they choose to put their prizes up. Whether you like it or not, this is how we roll. Can I hear an amen? Can I shock you? Can I shock you, Janet? When you go to showrooms, the, by the way, you can do virtual showrooms. Uneza kwa Kenya, we engage virtually when the US, one showroom here, US. All other cars, utapata zimeko value, $700, $500. You will never see a Bugatti put a price tag. Tukuje chini. There are different types of watches. You will never see a Rolex zimeko price tag. Because they know. 
If you want a Rolex, you know what it means. You know the worth. Can I hear an amen? You will never ascend to certain heights until you groom yourself. Until you read. Mnajua wengine wanasema ati ati masomo si kinyasa. Hiyo ni msemo ya kikuyu. Wanasema masomo si kinyasa. Let me tell you there are some there are some people you can never talk to with your level of form 3, form 4. Na sisemi kwa ubaya. Tuko na Google, enda usome kitu. Google eh, YouTube is not for, for it's not for funny videos. Go learn something there. Learn a language, man. Ada siku ingine ukikatia uonge na kispanich. O baba zo. Kidogo tu. Wajue nye umse ya mefika. Kidogo tu. Kana hiya na imen. Wacha ni kuulize. Hii muaka isiishe. Go learn a guitar. Learn something on YouTube. Learn something on YouTube. Learn kujitengenezea nyuele. My wife does her own hair. And she looks amazing. Na nye unitengeneza nyuele by the way. Yes. And the boys. And I look amazing. Mm. And in Nakuru, she used to make weaves. Is it wigs? Guy, weaves, weaves. Okay. Ninyuele. Nazilienda mbaka US. You see? Can I hear an amen? Do you know kila mtu wapa akona talanta? Unajua hivo? But she deetu, tunangaliaga za wenye ometokea. Forgetting hata ya li work yake. Work out your gift. Listen, Velma. Money is in your gift. That's why wezi la umu mungu. Tutasumama mbele ya Yesu. Hakuna kitu tamuambia. He gave you his power. Gave you his mercy, his grace. Then gave you a gift. Can I hear an amen? There can only be Pastor Bob. Moja. Mwenye aneza preach kama mimi. Msia kajaribu kupreach kama mimi. Atakuwa fake. Chinku. Can I hear an amen? Na mimi siwezi. Si hakuna siku nitae. Why jifanya Bishop Alan Kiuna? Siwezi. Yeye ame excel kwa iyo. Mi na minta excel kwa angu. There is no competition. Am I making sense? Yes, if you're making mandazi velma, when you're making the nails, do research. Find out the latest products. Do research and then tupige bay. Ni ukweli? Tunalipaga lawyer kwa nini? Alika chini ya kaso? Kwa sababu likata kusoma. Unakuta daktari? Unamuambia, hee, anakuambia, enda ununue hii na hii. Hapo anakuambia, inetaka waji yo, consultation fee is 2,000. Unanugunika. He went to school. Anageuza Kenya lisoma ikue pesa. Learn, learn, man, learn. Can I hear an amen? Pesa is equal kwa bonds. You can be a farmer and you're doing crazy, crazy stuff. Praise be to God. Be excellent in what you're doing. Hallelujah. Now, to excel means to do or to be better than, to surpass, to show superiority, to surpass others. Okay? To excel means to transcend, to outdo. Is to go beyond the limit. And I've shown you that Jesus was somebody that was excellent. And let, let me tell you this. You already have the Holy Spirit. I have been in a journey with God for quite some while. And I've noticed Kuna time niliwai pirichia mlevi, alikuwa nguo zinakafani, amengo kwa komtaro and stuff and so on. I preached to him, led him to Christ. The next Sunday, alikuwa mpaka ameosha nguo kwa fiti, anakapoa, ako, ajava nguo expensive, but ako decent. Iyo inafai kuambie, ukiwa na God, you already have the spirit of order. You have it. You have it. Trust me, you have it. Can I hear an amen? amen? Write this down. You do not know your worth. That's why you cannot carry your weight. When we realize that the same spirit which distinguished Daniel has been given to us under a better covenant in Christ, you will know you can be excellent. Can I hear an amen? Praise be to God. Excellence refers to pursuing and doing the best we can with the gifts that, and abilities that God has given us. Glenn, listen. Excellence is not a gift of the spirit. It is something you pursue. You run after. God will give you the desire, but you must cultivate what God has put in you. 
Don't expect excellence to be a gift of the spirit, like I said. If you're given to slothfulness, uzembeaji, and an attitude of masking your lack of pursuit of excellence behind the phrase, if God wants it done, he'll be sure it gets, gets done. You are positioning yourself for a greater lack of excellence. Can I help you? Principles of excellence. Make the original worth copying. Do it right the first time. Do it right the first time. If you're given a contract, please don't steal. Don't shortchange. Kama umepeo kandarasi ya kujenga barabara, unda weka standard ile ni correct. Bwana sifuwe sana. Invest in quality. Right? Excellence always endures. It remains long after cost is forgotten. All right? And do everything for Jesus. These are principles of excellence. Do everything for Jesus. The Bible says, and whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not as to men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of inheritance for you serve the Lord Jesus. Can I hear an Amen. And then commit to improve and grow the rest of your life. Don't stop learning. Please don't stop learning. You Kenyan, don't stop learning. Go pick a book. End of so may. Go get a book and read. Can I hear an amen? amen? I have noticed, sadly, that we are very quick to get into schemes of investing. Bitcoin. We learn a Bitcoin in Guinea now over a billion shillings. We, we want shortcuts. Atutaki kuka chini to some. Go study. Go read. Somebody said that if you wanted to hide money, hide it in books. Because Kenyans don't read. Go read. By the way, my, my pastor told me something I've never forgotten. He told me, a person begins aging from the head. When you stop reading. Go read. Go read. Suluisho ziko kovitabu. Ah? Am I helping you? End of some. End of some. All right? Find out how to carry yourself as a business person. Praise be to God. Some of you munataka God awapatie visa. Wende wapi? Tuseme kenu. Tuwasiu mwa upreach. Wata munga kupe visa. Wende wapi? Dubai. Capital city ya Dubai ni gani? Qatar. Hey. 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 We, 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 we. Ama Dubai kuna mlango unaingia Qatar. Eh? Listen, how many of you want to fly out of the country? You want to fly out, not for holiday, maybe you'll want to do business there and all right? Okay, tutaenda ata kwa visit, tutaenda, sindio? Okay, how many of you want to visit? Okay, let me ask you, have you ever tried and looked at the demographs of that country? The demographs. What's the name of the country? What's the capital city of the country? What is the population of the country? What's the currency of the country? What's the language they use there in that country? I'm on a Utashuka uko na Molo line. No drift. Shato. Unona kwa nini sometimes, si mungu wana to delay. Ni sisi. Ni sisi tu. You want to go for holiday, Mr. Francis. Wapi? Transoya. America. Wapi? Washington. Which state? Which sub-state? <laughs> Washington ni kubwa, my friend. Can I hear an amen? Am I helping somebody here? Praise be to God. Akuna siku God atakupeleka mahali. God atafanya research ingine. Ni wewe. God ataunda vitu supernaturally. Wewe na wewe uamuke ufanya vitu. Wangapi wanataka magari? Eh? Eh? Wangapi wanataka magari? Alright. Bwana siwe sana. Ama nisebe kama wachunga juu ingine. Nipungieni mkono hewani. Wenye wantaka kuenda maju. Ah, wantaka magari, 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 magari. Alright, magari, magari. Alright. Wangapi wakona driving license? Oh, mikono zimeshuka. Unataka Angel Gabriel akulete driving license? Eh? Akuje. Akuambie, Ken, Ken, nimekuja na driving license. It will never work. 
get a driving license so eh hey, can i hear amen praise be to god okay wangapi wako na dl na wanataka magari okay wangapi wameenda showroom wamejua price ya hiyo gari angalia vile zinapungua ati online <laughs> <laughs> Can I hear an amen? Be excellent in what you do. Come away when you deliver. Drive the best. As in, not driving a Range Rover, but that driving skill, let it be the best. Can I hear an amen? All right, I've said that the spirit of God is the spirit of excellence. Can I help you as I draw to a close? The spirit of God, Anne is so important in our lives that he himself can teach you how to save. The spirit of God can teach you how to save. Can I hear an amen? Niangalieni. Kwa hii dunia tunaishi. Miti hani ingine nye tunapitia. Haufai kupitia. Ni kwa sababu usikiagi. Can I help somebody here? It's because of what? Hatu usikiagi. Ulikuwa na 100,000 shillings. Uka, uka fikiria uende uinvest. But before you invested, ki kitu. Ki? Ki likuambia. That is God. Who was telling you, please, don't do this thing. But I've realized, believers like learning the hard way. You have to lose your money so that you learn the hard way. But when you mature, you don't learn the hard way. Can I hear an amen? If you ask God to show you how to save, he will show you. Let me help you. I believe with all of my heart that most of the people who work are not paid money that can sort them out. Vizuri. Sinikweli. For example, uneza kuna kakikuyu na maybe unalipo 20k. Sindio? Maybe after umelipa hao and some of these essentials, auna kitu. Sindio? This same spirit can show you how to save money. Kuna saa zingine Mrs. Francis, God ataweza kukuambia hama nyumba. And the house went quiet. Atakuambia hama nyumba. Unakaa nyumba ya 15,000 na unalipo 20k. Madhafu matira igera na wewe. Itigo. God atakuambia hama. But because Tunataka vile, tun, tuko concern na vile watu watasema. Nitaka hapa kidete. Iyo kidete. Kidete. Sindio? You are forgetting one thing. Who is suffering? God is not suffering. God anakupenda. Na bado unaenda heaven. Can I hear an amen? Sometimes. Ati what? Sometimes the leading of God is demoting. Yeah. Yeah. Eh, hii ndiyo mtakai kusikia Mercedes, Toyotas. Eh, eh. Sometimes the leadings of God is demoting you. Sometimes God aneza allow gari ulikuwa nayo iondolewe urudi kutembea akuchuki. Ninasaidia mtu hapa akuchuki cuz the greatest lesson in every man and woman here is a lesson on stewardship. Can I hear an amen? There are times, Janet, God will allow you to have a job you are underqualified. Unanipata? Kuna sa God ata allow upate job yenye in, unasikia inakufinya but anakutaka hapo. Unafau jiulize aje kila siku. God ndiko kwa hii situation. Ninayona na macho yangu. Nimeacha. Nataka kuona na macho yako. What am I supposed to see here? Because the moment utaona ni nini alikuweka hapo is the moment uta walk away. Sini ukweli? Yeah. Sometimes can. God aneza cause, aneza allow not to cause, aneza allow uchujue job. Eh? And yo kuchujue job was the reason behind you getting a husband. Because ukitama kende ulipatana na buwana yako. I told you we look at the now. Hatuangaliagi uko. God akiwak anangaliaga hapa na anangalia uku. I've always given you this instruction. Come here again. The Bible says in Romans 8.14, as many as are led 
So, Mr. Francis, I don't choose the leading. Tuonge? I can't choose a niambie tuende Nairobi. Sini ukweli? Yendi onajua kwenye tunafaa kuenda? So, as many as are what? Led by the Spirit. So, in a nutshell, the Bible says we walk by faith. And not by sight. So, umse anafaa fungia macho. Faith ni kufunga macho. Oh, glory to God. Faith ni kufunga macho. Trusting that umse anajua kwenye ananipeleka. Anajua, anajua kwenye ninaenda. Anajua hapa kuna podium, hezi nipitisha hapo. The Bible says what? He leads me besides the still waters. So in the valley, mukona e. On the mountain top, mukona e. Sini ukweli? Shida yetu, tumegeuza scripture. Inakuaga, as many as lead the Holy Spirit. These are the sons of God. Hmm? Hmm? Mhm. Una 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 amekushika mkono unafungua macho unamwambia we uoni tunaungua. We uoni unamwambia twende hivi. Twende hivi. Ama wengine wetu ile kitu tunafanyaga muko na yeye. Alafu wewe unaenda unafanya vitu zake unamwambia hii ndio nataka. Inaona hii? Hii ndio nataka. Huyu ndio mwenye nataka kuoa. Huyu. <laughs> Mungu kwa mipango yako yote huyu wewe jua tu vile utamweka. Huyu ndio ninataka. Mungu ndiye akuuliza kwa nini wewe umuoni wewe uoni hiyo kiumbe Kana hiyo ni Praise be to God He knows why you're not driving right now Unaingia kwa deni ya nini Lazima uchotoe kila kitu Afu kumbuke alikwambia usinini Let me tell you the Bible says clearly the blessings of the Lord Make it rich. And there is no sorrow. God akikupe gari ya kunaga soro. Ha? Wacha ni kuambie. Na msiende mfanya hii example. But wacha ni kuambie. Let me use you. Si unajua kuna kitu tafanya. Right now where you're staying. You're paying X amount of money. If you left that house. To go to another house. And you did not hear God. There is no grace to pay that house. Oh, yes. You will struggle to pay that house. Oh, yes. But if God leads you into that house, oh, yes. there is no struggle. Amen. Can I hear an amen? amen. Mungu akikupatia vits, iendeshe kama Range Rover. Wacha kubabaika, iendeshe poa. Cause kwa kalenda yake ame factor spare parts ata provide. Fuel ata provide. Insurance ata provide. But wewe, wewe, juu ya pressure ya watu. Unataka kwenda na nini? Hybrid. Haria. Mm. Utahara? Kwa haria. Kwa haria. Kana hiya ni imen? Enda ulize mungu. Kwa hii situation nafaa kufanya nini? That is the secret of David. David alikuwa nafaa nini? He used to inquire of the Lord. Should I do this thing? Don't do things alafu naambia Mungu akuja zibariki. Hakuna that's not excellent. Kwa zile ngori huko. Unaona hizo ngori umejiingiza? Itakuwa ngori. Hizo ngori ulijiingiza. The only person that can lift you out of those ngoris is the Holy Spirit. Can I hear an amen? Not everything can. Oh, not everything that God will lead you will be nice. Oh hmm? yes. I know of a story of a man of God God alimwambia I, I enroll university for seven years. Kusoma course hata wai practice for seven years ako uni na ameacha bibi yake na watoto. Seven years. Guess what? On the seventh year when he's graduating, he meets the purpose of the assignment. God alikuwa anataka a, 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 a minister to a person that was coming on the seventh year so that he gets born again. And right now he's a bishop of churches. Look at the purposes of God. Amen. See how expensive God is for one soul. Seven years. Seven years. Write this down. I feel it in my spirit. It is better to be slower than God than faster and ahead of him. It is better to be slower than God than faster and ahead of him. 
wacha nikuambie tunatembea na seasons na times season yako ikifika ken hakuna mtu anaweza zuia hakuna muna nipata wapendwa na season na ibadilisha gwi unaimba ile ndio yako tu Naitajindio o yako Yesu tu. Hii haitabadilisha season. Unasikiza? Haitabadilisha season. Kwa ile season uko unafaa ulize Mungu ni nafaa kufanya nini hapa? Cuz no season is meant to kill you. Can I hear an amen? Have you ever wondered Ken? And you're taller than me? No. All right. <laughs> Listen, have you ever wondered? This is Moses. Moses did what? He kills an Egyptian. Sindio? Yeah. Akifikiria hivyo ndio assignment yake itakuwa. Si ni kweli? Yeah. Then anaepa anaenda 40 years. Wapi? Kwa father in law wake. Niangalieni kwa father in law wake. For 40 years. Umwe wa jiuliza Moses alikuwa anafanya nini for 40 years? Moses alikuwa analisha mbuzi za baba yake. Father in law. Si mumepitia? Hata mimi nimepitia. Sijai pitia mahali ninalisha kondo za father in law. How long is that? And not two years. 40 years. 40. Na God anampenda. Na God alimwambia you are the deliverer of my people. 40 years. That is why I believe Moses alikuwa stamara. Ju 40 years ukikaa na mambuzi. <laughs> mambuzi 40 years. Zinasema tu me 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 hakuna msi anakujaga 40 years. <laughs> hey, 40 years. The Bible says that Moses was eloquent. Yeah. But after 40 years Moses didn't know what to say. Hakuju hiyo ilikuwa mnaitaka nini? CD character Hakuna kwenye Mungu atai kutumia kama hujapitia character development. Hizi ndio injili mtaki kusikia na hizo ndio nitawaambia. Lazima Mungu wa deal na wewe kabisa. Bwana asifiwe sana. So Ken, si uliokoka? Yeah. When uliokoka when? 2014. Bwana asifiwe sana. 2014. Zoni miaka ngapi? 10 years. Okay, before before uh, uokoke hivi. Ulikuwa ume umebol. Umebol miaka ngapi? Kama nane? Kama nane? So kwa hizo nane kuna vinyo ulikuwa unajua kutengeneza do. You would scheme your way to make money. Kwanza huyo mse alikuwa wine seller. Kai. Ndogo hiyo. Hai 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 hai. Ati ameuzia wase kadhaa hapa. Serious. <laughs> So get this. The day he got born again. That was 2014. 2014. 2014. Yeah. Those are 9 years. Yeah. Yeah. 8 years. Is it 8 or 9? Yeah. 9 years. Yeah. Okay, tukubaliane ni 9. 9 yeah. hapo. Sindio? Yeah. Imagine for the last 9 years. For the last 9 years, kitu God amekuwa kifanya ni kutoa. Ni kutoa. Ulikuwa na mind ya, ki, ya kufanya biashara vibaya anatoa. Imagine Mr Francis, ni kutoa anatoa. Wakati God amemaliza kutoa ndio anaanza kujenga. So kutoa yako inakuwa dependent na vile una obey. Akitoa mabeste unugunike, anatoka hapo anaenda kwa mse mwingine. Baka siku yenyewe utaacha kunugunika. You see how we delay ourselves? God has always built kwa corruption. God can never build on corruption. Amen. Amen. So some of you unashangaa ni wakati siku nimeokuka nilikuwa na do kuruka. Sasa hizi pasi na zionea view sasa. Ni God kwanza anatoa. God ana work na mindset yako. Namaliza na hii story. Hii ndio story ya mwisho. Can I have somebody? One guy. One guy. Yes. So kwa kwa hii illustration nani atakuwa Abraham? <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Glenn. So, this is Glenn. No, this is Abraham. Sindio? Uyo ni Isaac. 
the promise that is coming. Yeah. Sindio? Genesis 11. God anambi Abraham, get out of your father's house, out of your culture, out of your thought life, to a place I will show you. Sindio lisema? Siko hapo? No, 12 one. Sindio? So, kazi ilikuwa nini? Tunatembea na umse. Now, Glenn ni kuulize. Hapa kwa ukisoma Genesis 11 ikienda kuisha ama Genesis 10 hapo, wenda home utasoma, niangalie wea Abraham. You will discover that Abraham indeed was a moon worshipper. Because even in Acts, it's mentioned. Wase wa Mesopotamia waku kwa na. So if you imagine me ni God, na ji introduce kwa mganga. Season ni variables mbili ya zieleweki. Sindio? Imagine, akikuja ambie God, ay, nasi unipatie mtoto. Mungu wali muambia nini? Mtoto nda kupatia. Sinikweli? But haku muambia, itakuwa how many years? 25 years. Now, do you know why the 25 years? The 25 years was God journeying with Abraham so that he removes every cultic mindset because if I give you Isaac on our first year of encounter, you will say it is the other kingdom that has given you children. And make him an idol worshiper. So, miaka 25 ni mungu kuklin kichwa ya Abraham. Imagine. 25 years kuklin kichwa ya Abraham. Because the same God that promised here did not need to lift things to give him the child here. 25 years ya kutoa vitu kwa kichwa. So, mungu wana kuambiaga, wewe, you will finance the kingdom. But anajua between hapa na kufinance the kingdom, I must clear everything here. Mbaka pesa isingie kwa kichwa yako. So hii safari muna pitia, muna sema, oh pastor mambo inakuwa ngumu. Enda umulize, kwa hii safari, ni wapi ni mehata mugu, ni wapi ni narudi nyuma, ni wapi ni mekwama. Buwana babariki. Kana hii ane imen? So God is in the business of clearing our heads. Why do you need that blessing? Let me ask you, why do you come to church? Because some of us come with the wrong reasons. Why do you come to church? Why are you born again? Why are you in this journey? And are you getting my point? Are you getting my point? I want you to talk to God. I want you to really talk to God. Because some of us are really complaining. We are really complaining. And your complaining will not fast track the process. God has to take the journey together with you. Talk to him. Tell him, Lord, show me where I am. Show me where I am. All right? Talk to God. Tell him, show me where I am. Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. Some of us are stuck with unforgiveness. You're just stuck because you don't want to forgive. Some, it's bitterness. Talk to God. Talk to Him. Talk to Him. Talk to Him. When I discovered this is how God works, I stopped. I stopped rushing. God is a God of speed, not rush. Talk to him. 